world's best simulation tool for ESP32 and Arduino. Here you can see this is the tool. You have to uh, search here on the Google. Wokwi. W O K W I Wokwi. Then press enter. And here is the first website that we are going to use for the simulation. So that is the website I am using for the simulation of the program here. So here I will write the code. After that, I will add the sensors, push buttons, LEDs, add stuff from here. So first of all, I have written my code already and I will paste it here. So I am pasting the code here. You can see. So according to this code, we are going to connect the sensors push buttons and LCD screen. First of all, I am connected the LCD screen here. So I will add new part and search here SSD 1306 OLED display. So click here and place it here. So it's loading. So I will put it here. Okay. First of all, so I am connected this here. And the other part is we are going to add here three push buttons and one joystick. So I am going to add three push buttons first. One. Okay. So you can set color here, for example, this one. And I am going to add another push button. This is another push button. So now going to add the last push button. So here you can see I am going to use these three push buttons. So actually I am going to make an Arduino based oscilloscope which shows sine waves, square wave and triangle wave on the display. Okay. Now I am going to add one ground. I am going to add VCC. I am going to add one joystick. Here you can see the code here is the joystick pins. Uh, A0 A1 and I am going to add the push buttons here you can see 2, 3 and 4. So according to these we are going to uh, wiring here. So first of all I am going to add joystick. So search here for joystick. So this analog joystick. So place it here. Okay. So now we are going to connecting wires here. So let us put it on the full screen so now we are going to add wires connections to our display to our push buttons to the joystick okay so here you can see so first of all we are going to connect one common wire through these push buttons there's a ground wire so this these two are same these two are same and these two are same so we connect here ground with this and with this then we use uh, two three four pin to the uh, two pin to the first push button three pin to the second push button and fourth pin to the third push button okay so first of all we are going to connect to the ground and vcc so add here ground symbol okay just delete it we don't need it let's remove it so we are going to connect to from here this is the ground wire okay i am going to connect to the ground uh, to this pin from this pin to this pin and from this pin to this pin so we connected these uh, the ground common to the push buttons now we are going to connect to pin number two to the push button to the push button one so connect to the, to the pin number two to the push button pin number three
to the push button 2 and pin number 4 to the last push button ok so this is the connection diagram of push buttons to the Arduino Uno now we are going to connect the uh, our display to the Arduino Uno so we are here using SCL and SD pins first of all I am going to connect SCL uh, here from we are going to connect SCL SCL is connected to the last pin of the Arduino here is the Arduino the last pin of the Arduino is SCL okay and SD is the another pin and now we use supply to the uh, display using so you can remove it you can so now I am going to connect the joystick and I am going to give supply first of all I will arrange these as you can see just wait for a while I will arrange these push buttons etc here So I am arranging these. So we will set display here. Okay, so now I am going to connect to the ground of the display to the ground of the Arduino. So now I am going to connect to the VCC of display to the VCC of Arduino. Okay. So this is the VCC of Arduino. So the last part we are going to connect the joystick to the Arduino. No? Here you can see I am going to connect the joystick. Here is the VCC of the joystick. Let's connect it to the VCC of the Arduino. So I'm going to connect the VCC of the Arduino, and uh, here the ground pin is connected to the ground of the Arduino. Okay. So ground of the Arduino. So now we are going to use oh, vertical and horizontal key X and Y to the A0 and A1. X uh, is the joystick vertical to the a0 of the Arduino and horizontal one is connected to the A1 of the Arduino. So our circuit is ready, you can see here. So now I am going to simulate this. I am going to exit the full screen. Now we are going to simulate this here. So here is a code already written in this and now I am going to simulate it. So first of all it may be show some error because libraries are missing. So let's try it first. So I am going to run this. So yeah here it's showing in a stall these libraries. First one this and we are going to add another library here. So wait for compiling the project. So it will take some time to compile the project. If there's any errors, it will show us. If it's okay, then it will run the code. Yeah, so we have to add another library here. You can see add a fruit library for display. So I will show here. So we are using these two libraries and I am adding the libraries here. Now we will run again this code. So wait for a while. 
compiling the project so if you if you want to see the project uh, uh, in this uh, software then you have to sign in here or sign up here even first time you will sign in here so then automatically your projects will be saved in this so you can see here our program is running perfectly so if i press push button first sign me push button second it's not changing so there oh yeah is it changing if i press this one and it should triangle wave if i push this one and it will show us sign me okay so our if uh, then if i adjust the joystick here then you can see the amplitude and the frequency will also change i will show you here i am changing the angle you can see the wavelength is already is also changing so this is a simple project if you don't have uh, Arduino or if you don't have sensors first of all you can simulate it here and then you can use the Arduino and other uh, sensors so again I will run it here and you will see it so you can see here is a joystick if I move it to the right side can see if I press the push button first there's a sine wave if I push the second then it's triangle wave and if I use this and this is the square wave so this is the project you can see here I hope you will like this video for more videos like that you can follow our Facebook page tags and subscribe our YouTube channel tags ad. for more information you can contact us through comment section we will give you answers. Thank you so much.